This is One on One. It is our honor to welcome our partner and colleague, John Schreiber, who's the president and CEO here at NJPAC. John, we are back. Yes for a series of wonderful programs. We did conversations at NJPAC, and right. we've rebranded, if you will, in connection with our series, uh, our late night series, right. one on one, right? Right, good, good. Let's talk about some of the people we have here, some of the terrific people. Let's talk about Christian McBride, who's actually on this show. Ah, uh, he's the best. I think uh, it, is, it is a fact that he is the preeminent jazz bass player in the universe today. And uh, the public agrees, the critics agree, um, he can play with anybody. Um, he is NJPEC's jazz advisor, mm -hmm. so he informs uh, a lot of the, the bookings that we do here. You know, we have a 25 concert jazz season uh, this year, including the T.D. James Moody uh, Democracy of Jazz Festival. That's big. And Christian is all over it. And um, the beauty part is that I met him when he was 14 years old. Yeah, and you uh, are. In Philadelphia. And your love for jazz is well known. Yeah. Let's do this. Switching over from jazz. By the way, Darth Ann Kirk over at WBGO partnership there. Real quick before we talk about the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra. World's greatest jazz radio station across the street. Right. 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 Beloved in our region and all over the universe uh, through the Internet. Um, Darth Ann has been there since the station opened. Um, again, I'm going to tell you how old I am. I met her about 38 years ago at Kennedy Airport when she was with Rassan, about to go to Europe, and mm -hmm. I was a road manager for, for her. And, uh, and she's Newark's first lady of jazz. So uh, she does a brunch series here six times a year. She does the Jazz Vespers at Bethany Baptist Church. Um, she is the heart of the jazz community. There is so much going on here in the city of Newark. We are in the heart of downtown Newark at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. Uh, the other partnership you have I want to talk about um, yeah. is with the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra. We have Jim yes. Rowe, the president and CEO. Yes. New in this guy, series. former uh, uh, oboist, principal oboist with the symphony. Performer to executive. Performer to, <laughs> exactly, performer to administrator, right. And, you know something uh, about that? Uh, no, I don't know anything about that. But, uh, <laughs> but, but he's a, you'll, you, you've met him, you know him a bit. He is a lovely guy, great spirit, and... Uh, you know, the symphony performs here at NJPAC 30 times a year. And Jacques Lacombe, the wonderful maestro, said to me in Prudential Hall, which is acoustically superb, uh, a good orchestra sounds great and a great orchestra sounds spectacular. So mm -hmm. we're really proud that this great orchestra is uh, such a regular visitor to our theater. Two performers. You see our logo one-on-one -on -one yep. right here at NJPAC. At NJPAC, there's some extraordinary performers uh, coming in. Let's talk about Terry Lynn Carrington, Grammy Award winning drummer, composer, right? Yes, and she will be with uh, Esmeralda Spaulding, the remarkable uh, female bassist. Um, uh, and um, uh, that's a show that Christian is producing. Christian McBride. Christian McBride will be producing, and Questlove will be on that show as well. And it's a, a real kind of genre bending program because it's jazz meets funk and. Uh, and, and what wonderful, one of the wonderful things about Christian is he can sort of cross genres seamlessly. One more. Steve, is it Touré? Steve Touré, yeah. Touré. Steve Touré, Saturday Night Live band since 1984, yes, right? Yes. And it's connected to Darth Ann's place. Yes. Make the connection there. Yeah. Well, Steve Touré is a Montclair resident. Right. Uh, like Our you, town. Like you, like me. Right. right. Center of the universe, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Other than Newark. Yeah, other than <laughs> Newark. And, um, and he plays the trombone, of course, and he also plays the shells better than anybody. And he's so much fun and a really swell guy. And this is going to be his group, and he's going to get to sort of wail um, as a leader. You mm -hmm. know, when you're in the Saturday Night Live band, you're one of many great musicians. But here, he's the head of the class. So. Before I let you out of here. I said before, we're in the heart of downtown Newark. Yeah. NJ Pack, our partner for one-on-one. Yep. On one. yep. Why are you so uh, optimistic, bullish here on the city? Well, I mean, the city is at this amazing tipping point, right? You know, I was at the, 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 the uh, ribbon cutting for a Whole Foods that's going to be uh, across Military mm -hmm. Park. I mean, can you imagine, you know, a Whole Foods uh, right here Big in deal. the middle of Newark, right? You know, we're going to be... God willing, building a 22-story residential tower across the street here. 
Shaquille O'Neal is building a 21-story residential tower uh, uh, the street over from us. Yeah. Prudential's building a headquarters down the street. Panasonic's Panasonic the just opened right? a headquarters <laughs> down the street. Military Park is being refurbished. I mean, it's all happening, yeah. and it's all happening now. It's taken a long time, but it's happening. And finally, NJ Pack is very much involved in public broadcasting, and we're proud to be part yeah. of this, John. Uh, likewise, likewise. We'll we're, be back we're, again we're and again along with our partners at WNET and NJTV. And, uh, Thank you, John. Makes me feel good. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Okay. This is a great series. One-on-one, -on -one, right here at the place you want to be. NJ Pack will be back after this. One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato at NJ Pack has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence, and by the New Jersey Performing Arts Center, in cooperation with NJTV and 13 for WNET. Funding for this edition of One on One at NJ Pack with Steve Adubato has been provided by the law firm of Gibbons PC, Barnabas Health, TD Bank, Verizon Communications, New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance Group, Josh S. Weston, and by NJ Best, New Jersey's 529 College Savings Plan. Promotional support provided by The Star Ledger and NJ.com. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.